Recently, China's first urban high-speed train has officially entered Egypt on the very day of its operation Egypt celebrated with the whole country and the president and prime minister personally welcomed on this Chinese-made high-speed train. So how did China overcome all the difficulties to build this high-speed train for Egypt? Let's find out more in this video. Welcome to this episode, Cairo, Egypt. Recently built by a Chinese company, Intercity Light Rail Line opened for trial operation on the 10th of Ramadan, this is the first electrified railway in Egypt, including Egyptian President Sisi, Prime Minister Madhubli, the highest-ranking Egyptian officials and Chinese ambassador to Egypt Liao were present at the commissioning event according to the Egyptian Minister of Transport Wazir, who was present at the event. At present, the first phase of the project is now in operation. 22 trains will be operated in six car sets with a maximum capacity of 2,222 passengers it is expected to carry up. To 360,000 passengers can be transported, the daily travel of nearly 5 million local residents is guaranteed, high-speed rail has advanced technical standards highly adaptable to the environment, strong local elements and other significant features Egypt's Ramadan Decapolis is located east of the Egyptian capital Cairo. It is the new administrative capital of Egypt in recent years, this high-speed rail line built by China is an important transportation hub connecting Cairo's old capital and the new. City, this project is also one of the landmark projects, one of the landmark projects of the Belt and Road Cooperation, Chinese ambassador to Egypt Liao said, Ramadan 10-day city electrified light rail project is one of the, one of the landmark projects, it is also an important achievement in the development of the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries, an important achievement, it is an important achievement for the consolidation and development, friendly and cooperative. Relations between the two countries is of great significance, it is understood that the light rail project is financed by China, Chinese technical standards and domestic equipment have been fully adopted, it is being built by both Chinese and foreign companies. Although the project has been under construction for a short time, the project has experienced various difficulties, but with the joint efforts of the Sino-Egyptian construction team, the project was finally completed on schedule. According to the general contractor of the project, China Railway, China Airlines International Consortium, the total length of the first and second phases of the project is about 70 km, a total of 12 stations, one vehicle section number, two traction transformer ropes, the trains will be in six fixed formations, maximum operating speed of 120 km slash h. The trains start at Adlamanser Station, connected to Cairo Metro Line 3, via the city of Arbor, Shuriching, Badr City, etc. The train arrives at the new. Administrative Capital Art and Culture Station, China, is helping Egypt build this light rail line and the electric buses that carry it, the technology is very advanced. The Chinese designers have taken full account the special characteristics of Egypt's tropical desert environment, including sand, dust, heat, sunlight and other harsh conditions. The train has been adapted accordingly, this electric train has been specially designed to withstand sand and wind, it is also equipped with an active sand. Removal device to ensure that the train can withstand strong winds and sandy conditions, safe and reliable operation. The trains are also equipped with powerful air conditioning, despite outdoor temperatures of up to 45 degrees Celsius. The temperature inside the coaches can be reduced to below 26 degrees Celsius. Window glass, the advanced design of the double-layer insulating presses, effectively reducing the intensity of UV light. Sunshades are also installed, the interior of the car is also equipped. With radio, LCD screens, media player, disabled seats, etc. Various humane features, the car body is designed to a higher standard than the contract requirements, design and construction. The train is both comfortable and safe, it is also very fast, it meets all the needs of Egypt. The Egyptian President Sisi, Prime Minister Medbouli and others were full of praise. The driver of the train on the day of the trial run, he was trained at the Nanjing Railway Institute of Technology in China in 2021. He told the Xinhua News Agency, many of my friends always ask me, when will I be able to take the light rail to work? They are looking forward to the opening of the railway, he said the train is very comfortable and smooth, the speed of the train is also faster than the metro, given the good cooperation between Egypt and China on the first phase of the Egyptian light rail, phase 2 of the project. The Egyptian Ministry of Transport plans to commission China to continue the implementation of Egypt's
North-South extension of the Ramadan 10-day railway project and Phase 3 and Phase 4 of the Ramadan de Capital Railway Project Belt and Road Initiative with the active efforts of AVIC International, the project, will take root and bear fruit in Egypt. Egypt is one of the four ancient civilizations, it is the most important country in North Africa during the Nasser era. It was also the leading country in the Arab world located at the crossroads of three continents, Europe, Asia and Africa, and controls the world's most important, Suez Canal, the most important node in Africa, the most important node in the African region. The two countries signed a cooperation framework for the Belt and Road Initiative after including the first urban construction of Egypt's new administrative first pick of the Ramadan Decapolis, Egypt's national electricity grid, rural public health projects glass production line and more than 10 major infrastructure projects all were built by Chinese enterprises for example the iconic CBD tower of Egypt's new administrative capital is now the tallest building in Africa it is also the new landmark of Egypt at that time Chinese companies built a floor in three days at a rapid pace created many miracles in the history of African architecture helping the Egyptian people to fulfill one dream after another